Hello and welcome back to another Suicide Squad video. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can take the fight to the son of Krypton, Kal-El. I'll be breaking down the boss fight and giving you all the tricks and tips you need to beat the Man of Steel in Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. First, a quick disclaimer, this video contains possible story spoilers, so if you are not up to Superman yet, you have been warned. As we saw earlier in the story, due to Brainiac's mind control, Superman seems to have a slightly higher tolerance to kryptonite, meaning that it is nowhere as effective as it would be normally. Well, thankfully, Lex and a less than cooperative Batman managed to amplify the effects of kryptonite into a new mineral, golden kryptonite. I know it's a little cheesy, but when it comes to Superman, we need all the help we can get. Now, before we dig into this boss fight and the mechanics, I have to confess, the Superman boss fight is pretty low on my list of favourite fights in this game. But I think that's because of the general flaw with Superman as a boss fight, which is simply... <laughs> he's Superman. This guy is nearly unkillable and completely overpowered, which I think makes it very difficult to design a fight like this. I mean, how do you show his full strength while also making him vulnerable enough to win against? It's a tough one, right? Well, anyway, let's get into the fight itself. <laughs> one of the world's finest heroes. Snuffed out by this. Mm-hmm, and you're next, asshole. Sure, sure. You can tell Wonder Woman all about it. Not so funny now, is it, dickhead? As we fight Superman, there are going to be two phases, both very similar, but with like the previous fights, with the second phase really ramping things up. First, how do we do damage to him? Well, this actually works in a very similar way that we saw with the Flash. Basically, you're going to wait for a counter and then hit him with a counter shot. The only difference is, with the Flash, you're stopping his shield from recharging. With Superman, the higher the bar is, the more damage you do to him. So, as this bar slowly depletes, you'll see a percentage underneath. That is how much of your damage you're doing to him per hit. If you get in with a counter shot, it will shoot to 100 and you'll be doing your maximum amount of damage. But the longer you wait and the lower you let this bar get, the less damage you will do to him. So, just like with every other boss fight, you want to be hitting a counter shot at every possible opportunity. So let's dig into his attacks. He opens up with his ice breath. He basically creates large, sharp blocks of ice on every ledge, giving us nowhere to stand. This is easily countered, you can just shoot the ice and it will shatter. Next, he starts throwing things around. Literally. He'll grab a boss and he'll throw it straight at you. However, you will have a counter shot opportunity right after he's thrown it, so keep an eye out for that. Next, he'll start swinging things around. He'll grab a helicopter, he will almost teleport around, swinging the helicopter about. Just dodge and again, wait for a counter shot. After this, he will use his laser eyes. This is pretty easy, just stay out of his way. That's it. Once you've done enough damage going through all of these attacks, you'll get his health bar all the way to zero. Then you'll get a short cutscene where he will fly straight up towards the sun and recharge. Now it's time for the second phase. There's toys, but he's... All my life I've moved heaven and earth now is when most people would start to pray. Going into the second phase, he will now do more damage, and the depletion of the kryptonite bar will also go down a lot faster. So now it's really important to make sure you're not missing those counter shots. The big attack to watch out for during the second phase is when he flies straight up. You can often see this from a large ring of dust coming from where he took off from. He will fly straight up, and you will notice a yellow gold circle expanding. This is where he's going to land, and when he comes down, it's like a nuke going off, so make sure you are not in that blast zone. Next, he'll go back to his ice breath and eye lasers. 
He'll regulate through these attacks until you get him down to a slither of health, at which point the kryptonite bar will disappear and he'll fly up in front of his golden statue. At this point, he'll start using his eye lasers and it'll regulate between his standard eye laser and a much more powerful purple beam. Just stay out of the way of his beams. At this point, you just have to wait for your opportunity to do damage. When you first start shooting at him, you'll notice you're hitting zeros, but after a short amount of time, you will start doing damage. The second you start seeing their numbers, lay into him and that's it. The son of Krypton will come crashing down and you will have killed Superman. Although it is a little wild and all over the place, I actually found this to be one of the quicker fights with it being easier to apply constant damage to him. How did you find the fight with Superman or how would you design a fight with Superman? Weird question, but let's talk about it in the comments below. If you managed to beat Superman, let everybody know by giving this video a like. Stay tuned for more Suicide Squad content and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads or streams. If you'd like to support the channel, you can join over on Patreon or become a channel member. Links are in the description. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.